by GCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 2.8. This is 2.8b. Looking at an alternative explanation to understand the role of enzymes as biological catalysts. The metabolic reaction that we'll use to illustrate this is that of respiration. So we take C6H12O6 and in the presence of oxygen we're going to convert this into a release of energy plus carbon dioxide plus water. So in this system then this is the substrate and these are product. In this instance energy we expect to be released. To illustrate this on the diagram here the x-axis is time, time of the reaction and the y-axis is a measure of the energy content of the molecules. So at the beginning of the reaction our glucose with oxygen will place approximately here C6H12O6 with its oxygen and positioning here on the y-axis is an indication of the energy content of our substrate. Now we're expecting the oxidation of glucose and energy to be released and our products we expect to be done on this level here. So if we draw a line here later in the reaction and put CO2 plus H2O and the energy released is indicated by the drop here. However, without an enzyme, so that when we don't have an enzyme, to break down glucose to carbon dioxide and water, an example of this would be combustion in which we have to put energy into the glucose molecule bonds before they break and release a lot of energy. So initially we have to put energy in. Let's illustrate that with a diagram like this. So the, we're going to add energy to the bonds of glucose. Those bonds will then break and release energy and form the product molecules, like so. This initial energy which has to be added to the glucose molecules is called the energy of activation. Now this can be achieved by adding heat and in some reactions you could create, for instance, extremes of pH, such as acid conditions. Neither of these two is appropriate for life. Extreme heat and extreme pHs would damage cells. So biological systems have found a way to overcome the energy of activation, and that is the enzyme. And so if we add enzymes, as biological catalyst to our reaction, the effect of the enzymes, so we need them here. So the enzyme enzymes would combine with glucose and oxygen to form an activated complex, weakening the structure without the need for heat or extreme pH. And we can overcome the energy of activation in this manner here. To form the products carbon dioxide and water with the energy being released here. So notice that the effect of the enzyme is to reduce the energy of activation so we can say it makes the reaction occur more easily or faster but also notice that it means we do not need extreme conditions all of which are consistent 
with life in cells.